Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at 10 free Windows programs you should be using in 2020. Now these are free programs you can download and use for free and there's a variety of them here and I'll probably make a few more of these because I've got a few more programs that I wanted to add but of course I wanted to keep it to a nice round figure of 10 and of course I've got some other ones like security programs and stuff like that that I want to add in and utilities so stay tuned for those ones. So let's take a look at Earth and Viewer. This is a image viewer and also image manipulator or editor. And you can see here it does work with all versions of Windows, 32-bit and 64-bit. Works with all different file extensions for images as well. And it also allows you to manipulate these files, which is a very powerful piece of software. And it's free. You can use your shortcut keys as well by making it full screen. And you can also navigate through using the many functions inside here so you can navigate all through your image files you can edit these files you can do pretty much anything you like inside here you can see you can use these little navigation buttons here to navigate through let me go through and take a look at some of the menu here this is where you can change some of the options available for this program there is stacks of stuff inside here you can mess around with so if you want to change some of that you can do you can change and add buttons to your uh, toolbar at the top you can create slideshows here as you can see plenty of uh, options available inside here automatic after five seconds and uh, you can change this up to whatever you like here so you can uh, play slideshow once you've loaded them up inside there also you've got your delete file print file save slideshow open and again you've got your image uh, tools here which allows you to do say for instance effects remove red eye reduction sharpen color correction uh, just about anything you want to do in this program very powerful piece of software so let's move on to a media player this one's called vlc works with windows linux mac and also unix ios and android it basically allows you to play uh, videos inside this piece of software it allows you to stream allows you to capture your desktop you can convert videos you can do a heap of stuff as you can see here so you can open a source from disk folder multiple files you can open up a capture device uh, currently save which means basically you can convert uh, video files to make them much more compressed without losing any sort of loss of uh, quality it's completely free and it's probably one of the best media players out there on the market there is some others but this one is still top of the bill let's move on to another piece of software called angry ip scanner this scans your local network this program will detect all of the devices on your local network which makes it very easy to find uh, you can use the legacy version which is the older version or you can use the installer which you will have to have java installed so i prefer to use the legacy version which is just uh, runs straight away like this and you can see you've got a bunch of tools up the top here favorites options and utilities and stuff like that you can set this up in your options how you like it but basically you would do a start here when you've got your IP range which you want to do a start of on the computer that you're using and it will find all of the devices that are turned on and connected to your local network which makes it a breeze to find those items so very good tool indeed next up is notepad plus plus this is a must-have uh, piece of software now I've been using Notepad++ for many years. You can see there's numbers down the side here, which makes coding a lot more easier. When you're trying to find a certain line of code on a certain line, it makes it much more easier. You've got much more functionality inside here compared to what you would have inside the standard Notepad, which comes with Windows. So when you've been using Notepad for a while and you jump on this, it's just like night and day. It really is. It's so much more better to use especially if you're doing a lot of different types of stuff uh, where you want to type stuff out in a much more organized fashion this makes it much more easier to do compared to just using the standard notepad i will leave the links for all these software in the video description but this is a definite must have in my personal opinion for any computer user so let's move on to another piece of software here we're going to be taking a look at some video editing software and this one is called handbrake it's a free piece of software which you can use to 
uh, manipulate uh, video files does work with different operating systems and you can see here it's pretty easy to navigate uh, you've got open source here add to queue start in code queue uh, preview and a bunch of other settings here you've got your formats here your dimensions so you can change your dimensions you've got your filters video audio subtitles and stuff like that this is a very powerful uh, piece of software and it's free I've used this to basically uh, compress videos to make them much more smaller in size but without losing the quality of video and I do use this from time to time and I do like it so if you've never used this software before give it a download and install it you've got nothing to lose it's completely free and it's very powerful indeed and once you use it you'll find it's quite useful to have on the system so let's move on to another piece of software this next piece of software allows you to capture your screen and it's called screen to gif it's quite a nice piece of software and it's free to use so just download this and get it installed onto your computer now the GUI interface on this program is very simple and easy to use you can see we've got an option area here you can open this up and uh, you can start it up with Windows and you've got your application recorder interface you can set up your shortcut keys here you've also got your capture mode pretty much you can set this up how you like uh, you've got your tasks and also shortcuts as I said so you can have your record webcam toggle on and off work really really well got your cloud storage extras bunch of other stuff here as well your donate button there if you feel the program is good enough for what you need don't forget to support the creators you can see here as well record webcam and board very simple and easy to do just section this out to whatever you want to record set your sizes here you've got your options available let me just quickly do a quick test here just to show you so if you create tutorials or you just want to show someone how to do a certain task then you can record that screen and you change the frame rates and then basically once you've done that click stop and it will then put it into an editor which will allow you to then edit that little uh, caption that you've got here so you can edit anything here put in some text do whatever you like inside here put some transitions in whatever it is you want to do there very powerful little tool push play and it will just show you what you just captured here very simple and easy to do very nice piece of software and it's free okay so let's move on to another piece of software here next one is about mp3 files and how you can manage your mp3 or music collection and you can use mp3 tag this is a universal tag editor it's going to be really useful for people that uh, do a lot of DJing or music uh, creation and you want to keep an eye on all your tracks you can just open this program up and basically you can manipulate and edit all of the titles you can add in some uh, fan art there for the actual albums you can put in album name artist title year track uh, genre anything you want inside here select it and it will give you the cover album or whether it be a single cover if it's available and then click OK and that's added in you can even change the names here it just makes it a lot nicer and tidier to uh, see uh, what you've got in your collection and you can set these up exactly how you like you've got all your tools up here as well which is very useful so you've got your options here and you can change up the options it's feature packed it really is and if you've got a music collection that you want to control then mp3 tag is a pretty decent option next up we got Rufus this allows you to create bootable USB flash drives the easy way it's a really nice piece of software and you can download the portable version which means you don't have to install it once you get this onto the system you can then create your bootable Windows 10 ISOs uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, wherever it is you want to do. Hiram's Boot CD can do all this here. Just select the device that you want to do, the boot selection, which will be your disk or ISO or FreeDOS. You can see here, select the ISO uh, from your archive. And then you can set this up to file system, cluster size, uh, partition scheme, and stuff like that. Formatting options. As you can see here, I've got Hiram's Boot CD on here. You can change this up to whatever you like GPT, MBR. UEFI, non-CSM, FAT32, whatever it is you want to do, push start 
and it will then create your bootable USB flash drive to use to boot to. Very nice piece of software. Next up we got paint.net. Now if you've got say for instance an image that you want to manipulate the color on, brighten it up, maybe darken it down a bit, maybe it's too bright, you can do all that in paint.net. You've got a very powerful piece of software here. You can change your fill, you can also change uh, your blend modes here. These are all your different blend modes. Same as what you would have in say Photoshop or something like that. You've also got your color picker here, your pan, your eraser tool, uh, pencil, all that sort of stuff. So you've got your magic wand tool here. You've got your eraser tool as well and your spot healing as well I think inside here. There's quite a few little added tools inside here. You've got your adjustments here which is your auto level, black and white, brightness, contrast, curves, levels, all the same sort of stuff you would have in Photoshop. But this one is free. You can add a new layer, duplicate layers, um, delete layers. Again really really powerful piece of software and again it's free which is a nice added bonus. Now there is other ones out there like GIMP which is another powerful piece of software if you prefer to use GIMP you can do uh, but this one paint.net has been around for a while and it's pretty nice let's move on to another one here now it's all about backing up and cloning and this one's called Macroom Reflect this has been around for a very long time it's Macroom Reflect 7 this is the free edition and this is for really nice free backups now remember we're talking about free software here guys so if you're looking for free software and something to back up your computer and have more control over your backups then Macroom Reflect is a really good option. You've got all the usual features you would get in paid software which is like cloning, backing up, backing up folders, drives, whatever it is you want to do you can do that with this piece of software. It really is nice and you can even restore it. You get bootable rescue media which allows you to boot to that media and make a backup or restore a backup from that uh, bootable media which makes it really nice which you would normally get on premium software like a Cronus and other types of software. This one is 100% free and you can actually buy a premium version of this which will give you added extras that you might need so check out the comparisons of the free version and the uh, paid versions of this. So if uh, free versions are your thing, then give this software a try. It's pretty nice for free. Let's take a look at another one. This one's called OBS Studio. It has been around for a very long time. It's called Open Broadcaster Software. That's what it's short for, OBS. Windows, Mac, and Linux it's compatible with. And this is great for live streaming. So if you're a gamer and you're doing live streaming or you're just doing some sort of live stream on YouTube or podcasts or anything like that, you can use this software you can get your intros, uh, your intermissions, your outros. You can uh, set it all up exactly how you want. This is a very, very, very powerful piece of software for anyone who's doing that sort of stuff. So if you're a, a gamer, a Twitch gamer or something like that, you might want to set this up because you can get your scenes here and your sources. You can have more than one camera source, audio source, you know, pretty much anything you like. Game capture, you can set this up even VLC uh, video source there you can have uh, playing in there so if you want to get this set up how you want then uh, OBS is the must-have better kit here audio again on here you can set up some really good audio features let me just show you the settings here a bunch of settings inside here for your uh, broadband speed so if you've got internet speed that you need to put in here you can set this up so you don't get any lag and eradicate any of that jerkiness and you get butter smooth uh, recordings um, you can set this to 1080p 720p whatever it is you want to do set up your filters for your audio this will allow you to uh, set your audio up inside here you can have a noise gate uh, filtering and stuff all you need to do is just go into settings then add filters and put plus compression uh, expander gain uh, noise gate all that sort of stuff inside there very nice bit of software and it's free so we've got one more piece of software and I'm going to call this done and this one is a useful piece of software this one's called virtual clone drive this basically is a virtual uh, CD DVD or blu-ray drive so it's a virtual one so it's not going to be real it will mimic 
as if you've got one of those installed so if you wanted to use this you could do and uh, these are pretty useful sometimes to have so it just mimics you having that it also works with ISOs bins images UDFs uh, DVD and CCD there's not much to really show on this piece of software so I'm not going to open it up it is pretty much what it is you just installed it and it just uses uh, your drive as a virtual drive so if you want to mimic that you can do with this piece of software very very useful uh, if you're into that sort of stuff so that's going to be about it that's 10 free windows programs that you should be using in 2020 my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section what other programs you recommend i will also be making some top security programs and top windows utilities thanks again for watching i'll see you again tomorrow for another one bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos Thank <laughs> you.